السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Blessings to everyone So we are entering in the second half of Ramadan that is the time 10 days of forgiveness and that is a time where we where our prayers for forgiveness are definitely useful and stronger than in any other time. So we should use this opportunity to ask forgiveness on our own, but also ask forgiveness for our ancestors, for our descendants, for our families, for our friends, partners, children, and so on. Even we can ask forgiveness for the humanity, for the, what we say, Ummah Muhammad, for the situation we're into it that is not very glorious, that doesn't give us a very high prestige, no, as a humanity. So there are so many reasons to ask forgiveness and we should use this time for it. Now, there is a topic in this month that is about zakat. And zakat is obligatory. It has to be paid. Everyone has to pay zakat of fitr. That is from every country different, defined, but it would be like what is, for example, one kilo of flour, what that costs, no? Or what it costs to feed one person. Yeah, that are different measures. And this money should be paid for sure. If you are having a family, you pay for your wife, you pay for your children. Um, if you are alone, you just pay by yourself. You know? So that is very important that you do that within this month. And now there's always this question to where do we give the zakat? So zakat al fitr is obligatory for everyone, no matter how much money you have. Then there is zakat that is obligatory once a year, and it is very much the common habit to do that also in Ramadan, because Ramadan is a month of amplifying every action, every thought, every emotion that you have. So we try to do as much good things in this in this month as possible. You know, that will give us a long-term effect. You know. So zakat um, is the 40th part of your income that you need that you have left beyond what you need in one year you know of your of your possessions of of what you own you know so that is 2.5 percent everyone can calculate it and the question is there to whom we should give it you no know? And it's very clear we should give it first to the family members, actually. Yeah, if there is anyone in our family, not our own family, but in the families around, our relatives that need help, that need support, then this would be a good place to do. Then we look to neighbors, you know. And if there is any neighbor that seems to be in need, there would be a good place to give. And then we can think of um, people that you want to support or associations that you want to support. You know? So in this chain, it is usually done. So there's often the question, should we give it to our parents? Yes, if they are in need of it, it's a good thing to do that. Yeah, of course, our parents is our next family. Yeah, um, and if they are in need, for sure, it is a good thing to do, right? 
So generally, the act of giving zakat, which is obligatory, you no, know, it has to be done, you no, know, always has these interesting inner aspects. All the things that are commanded in our tradition have a very deep insight implementation. And the implementation for zakat, for giving money, also sadaka, that is um, money that you give out of zakat, yeah, that you also can do, of course, you know, um, is to purify, to purify your worldly situation and to protect yourself from losses, from sudden losses, from um, general, from sudden changes in your worldly financial economic situation, you know. And if you do that, if you keep it, yeah, it is also an act of equilibrium, of balance, of harmony, yeah. You share with the people that have less, you know, and you don't overshare. That is also an important point. You see, it is not like half of your possession or 20% or 30%. It's just unreasonable amount that will not ruin you, but will benefit others a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you're very rich, this is a must. Is is anyway for anybody a must, but for the rich people, they will benefit especially from it, you know, because very often when you become very rich, the money is not always from good sources. You know? We live in the world, we live and we cannot avoid that the way we get money to us is often with some kind of of not really pure measures, no, not pure sources in a way, right? Being already in the banking system that is based on on um, exploitation, no, that is based on on injustice in certain ways, on debts, on interest. Um, all of us, we are very much in need to purify our money, yeah, and to purify, to clean somehow as much as we can do uh, this situation. No, it's very difficult to get income from what is called the halal money, the allowed money. Yeah, and our master used to say, the only way where you really get a halal money is that you plant something in the earth, you know, it grows, you go to the market and you sell it, and that money would be a perfect halal money. Yeah. Or you manufacture something on, on your own and you sell it directly, and that would be a halal money. You know? But for most of us, we are not in this chain of, of, of having this possibility of even making it. Yeah. So this is a part that is very important. And there's a calculation about Sakat that if all the rich Muslims and if all the Muslims would pay their Sakat, there would be no hunger in the world. There would be no poverty in the world, actually. Yeah. So, um, it is very important that we do it, and it is something that we, that most people have a lot of problems to do that, you know. There's this avarice in us, and doing so makes you also to receive. You see, if you can give happy, you can receive happy. If you cannot give happy, you are not ready to receive, you see. Or if you blame rich people, for example, that they are, that you say, our oh, rich people always have bad characters or so, but at the same time, you want to become rich. No, you should stop doing so, right? 
And um, so it's very important that we keep this aspect, this worldly aspect, clean, as we also want to keep our heart clean, our mind clean. And like this, the doors of higher spheres open to us. It is the main condition that you progress spiritually. There is no other way, in no tradition that I know. And because it is the way of reality, it is the way the universe is made for. for. It is based on simplicity, it is based on harmony, it is based on truth, it is based on the highest level of ethical principles. This is how our existence is made. Yeah. And when we observe animals, when we observe plants, when we observe nature, when we observe the cosmos, we will understand those principles. You know? And they are laid down, this knowledge is laid down in our heart. And when we give respect to our heart, is the beginning. Yeah. When we give honor to our heart and not speaking to our heart from this mind that feels above, you no, know, that wants to always talk downwards, you no. Know, but understanding that the heart carries our existence and our reality and showing more interest in your heart, be it first of all in your physical heart to take good care for it. Yeah, that means you move enough, you make, um, uh, you try to not stress out permanently. And then on the spiritual level to really connect with the heart that talks to us, to the voice of conscience and never misguides us. No. The next revolution that is going to happen is a heart revolution. It is the understanding that we are only happy people, that we only find satisfaction in our life and lasting joy, lasting peace is if we start to live and to act from our heart. No. This will be the next practicings that all of us have to take in it, that all of us have to practice and to exercise it as much as possible. No. Be it that we try to speak only what comes from our heart, that we try to follow our emotions that come from our heart and the actions that come from our heart. So being generous is a very heartful action and brings you a lot of heart happiness, heart satisfaction. And if the heart is happy, all the being is happy. You know? So thank you very much and have blessed fasting. And those of you who do not fast, have blessed days too. And see you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.